Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome to my new Let's Play, the Crystal Magic Let's Play. So y'all, these are my Sims. We have Sage Montgomery and Noah Blue. I actually got the names and the style for these Sims from a book that I was reading that I was so enthralled by that I thought that it would be so much fun to make Sims based on those characters. We have Sage, we have Noah, and we have their cat Jade. So the premise of this Let's Play is Sage and Noah run a crystal and magic shop in their cottage. Right now they are just friends and they live together, but I'm thinking maybe there is a budding romance between these two. So the question will be, can they improve their magic and run this shop without ruining their friendship or their budding romance? So I actually had so much fun building this cottage. If you wanna see the speed build, I already have it up on my channel right now for you to watch. So I'm gonna pause right here if you wanna go check it out and then you can come right back. Otherwise, if you just wanna stick around for the Let's Play, let me show you where they live really quickly. So the front of the cottage is where their shop is. So the plan is to sell crystals that Sage refines and potions that Noah makes. Uh, the way that I populated the shop right now is like mostly crystal focused, but I'm gonna take these out because like I said, I want the plan to be that they make the stuff that they sell here. At the back of the cottage, we have uh, their kitchen and dining room area. And then upstairs is where the living room is, as well as Sage's bedroom and uh, Noah's bedroom. And then they have an upstairs bathroom. In the backyard, the backyard is just so cute to me. Uh, we have a place where Noah can do some planting. Uh, I figured Noah is gonna be the one more focused on the gardening, but I do think that they should both like work on their gardening skill a little bit. I also have an easel back here as well as over here. I have a little meditation stool because Sage is hot headed. So I'm thinking that she probably needs to work on her temperament a little bit. And then we also have a cauldron back here because they're both witches and they need to make potions. And I'm also super excited to play with the Crystal Creations pack. So I think the real tangible goals outside of running the shop is working on their aspirations. So Sage has the new aspiration that comes with the Crystal Creations pack. And Noah has the Spellcaster aspiration, which I have never played through. So I figured that this Let's Play would be as good of a time as any to actually play through what it's like to be a Spellcaster in the game. And I figure, like I said, they're both technically witches, but actively speaking, I want Sage to focus on crystals more than specifically the magic part. Though I think she should work on her magic some, so she doesn't fall too far behind from Noah. But yeah, I don't know. I, I am super excited. I think that, like I said, I want them to be really good friends. So I'm just going to have them like chit chat for a minute. Okay. I don't know where Sage is going. She's going to the computer. No, she's not. Okay. I also love that because of the way that I set up all of the plants, they have to use the windy path to get to the door. I just think it's so cute. I love it. Also, y'all look how cute this shop is. I just love it so much. I truly had so much fun building this shop. I will say that <laughs> the way that I built it, I wanted it to be that Sims come inside and actually purchase the items that they make from this selling table. This is a selling table that comes with the Crystal Creations pack, but it turns out that it does not actually work inside of the build. I think that there is a bug. So if you wanna support me getting the bug fixed, please check the description below for the link to Me Too on Answers HQ. If we tell the Sims team that this thing don't work inside, maybe they'll fix it and then my Let's Play will go to my actual vision. But right now, I don't know, not so much. Oh, is this starting to rain? Of course, of course it is. I think it's really funny because I actually downloaded MC Command Center so that it would stop raining. Um, just so I could do the intro for this Let's Play. And of course it's back to just being a storm. I'm gonna let it go. I think right now we can do some other things uh, to get started. So the first thing I can do is I can have, I can have Sage work on the gemology skill. So I'm gonna have her come over here and just cut a gemstone, uh, this first one. And then you can just buy the crystals. You don't have to like go out and find them. It just costs money. Now I do eventually want to go and do a little like trip so she can discover little crystals and do some digging. Okay, no, she does not dislike stories. I don't know, they're just in a bad mood right now. I don't know why. Oh, cause she's wet, whatever. Why don't you play with Jade? Get to know the kitty cat. Oh, and we have a welcome wagon. Okay, let's invite the neighbors in. It is a little crazy out here. So they have come inside. Let's go here and just chit chat. I feel like they should know the neighbors especially anybody who might be a spellcaster. I've never played, like I said, I've never played with this pack for real. And I, even though I've had it for a long time. So this is kind of funny to me. Let's come over here and let's chit chat. Okay, Sage has acquired the gemology skill. So that's good. Dang, I'm so mad about the weather right now. I literally cheated the weather to be better. And of course it's back to being 
four. But I have the cauldron outside. So I thought that maybe Noah could go outside and uh, work on, I don't know, experimenting with magic. But I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna force it right now. Who are you talking to? Here, greet neighbor. Both y'all should greet neighbor. Okay, I'm gonna call everyone to the meal to have some of that nasty fruitcake that somebody brought. I think that's a fun little idea for the neighbors. I love when they say that the fruitcake is a family heirloom. Okay, I was wondering what people are gonna do once they run out of seats. They'll just stand there. That's fun. Okay, so Sage doesn't like fruitcake. That's hilarious. Why don't you clean up all of the plates? It looks like, what, what's Sage about to go do? Oh, she's about to go play with the cat. That's funny. Oh, hey Jade. Let me offer friendship and a little treat because you're so cute. Oh, you know what I like having whenever there's like a little workstation? I like having a little um, stereo of some sort so that they can get focused with their music. So let me add that. Now, why doesn't this go on there? So I turn on the music. She's going to go back to working. <laughs> I think Sage is having a good time with the music playing. I love playing. I love working when there's music playing. It's like such a vibe. What are you about to come do? Oh my gosh. I think that's so cute. Noah came in like, oh, I love this song. <laughs> and now she's dancing in here. That's so cute. Are they all about to come dance? Okay, now. All right. You know, technically she's trying to work. I'm gonna put this fruitcake up. Does Noah like fruitcake? Of course Noah likes fruitcake. <laughs> So like I said earlier, I actually got Noah and Sage's personalities from a book that I was reading that I thought was really, really cute. But basically, obviously you can tell Noah's more of like bubbly and colorful and playful and Sage is a little bit more serious and reserved. Um, but they're both super creative and they are both talented at like similar things. So that was the idea when I brought these two in for the Let's Play. And in the book, the book is a Rivals to Lovers romance. Like it's called Outdrawn. It's sapphic Rivals to Lovers adult because there's some spicy scenes in there. But it's super cute. I had a good time reading the book. So much of a good time that I obviously made little characters inspired by them. So I'm gonna say it like this, this lightning, all right? I better not lose any of my stuff out here. I built a beautiful backyard and I don't want y'all taking away my stuff. So I'm gonna have to pay attention to that. Anyway, what can Sage do since she's inside? I don't know if you can practice magic inside or whatever, but what could be fun is if she comes and starts like cross stitching. I've never really focused on this skill either. So it could be fun. Now, honestly, I can see Sage being like, all right, y'all, y'all need to leave. So she's going to stop and be like, oh my God, thank you so much. Oh, she never even introduced herself. I feel like she needs to know the other black residents in this area. Okay, I'm going to send you home. I'm going to send you home. Okay, so they're all leaving. So she's going to get back to work. <laughs> No cross stitching while it's raining outside. I'm sure that's like so cozy in real life, you know? This is also one of the first builds that I made and I didn't put a TV. So they will be entertaining themselves with anything but television. Maybe she can make a friendship bracelet. So Sage has already reached level two of the gemology skill. She can now discuss crystal properties with other Sims and can design delicate jewelry and cut emerald gemstones at the gemology table. Okay, cool. I also placed crystal grids. What did I just say? What did I just say about the lightning? I placed crystal grids around the place uh, um, so that when it's not raining and when the moon is out, they can charge their crystals. Dang, I'm so already. We're already starting off with some BS. Also, does the why is the cat on the counter? OK, it looks like Sage is finished with this. So I'm in a lecture about jumping on counters. Also, is this not actually on the table? It is. I don't know why the cat, the cat was sitting through the register. OK, well, that's cute. She's now she's dancing with the cat. Can you pet the cat at least? Here, hug. Oh, OK, I'm going to put down the cat. This is our first gemstone. It's spire shaped gemstone sapphire. The quality is excellent. If charged on the crystal grid, Sims will take longer to burn out on mental activities and Sims gain mental skills faster. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in her inventory for now and maybe we should we should cut another gemstone. Oh yeah, this is a new one that we unlocked. Okay, let's do this one, the Kavakon shaped. That looks pretty. Oh, okay, and when you highlight over the different crystals, it'll tell you what the effects are. So. Orange topaz. Oh, they gain creative skills faster. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We want one of these. We want one of these. Yes. Oh, I didn't even realize Noah came downstairs. Oh, she's cleaning up the, the kitchen. Thank you so much, Noah. Maybe Noah just comes down here to like start reading. Is there like any spellcaster books or something? I feel like she would read that, you know, study up on things. So let me go and see. There's no spell casting book, but I'm going to have her read a gardening book. Because like I said, I really want her to be good at the gardening skill so that she can 
make the ingredients that will go into potions. And she's back over here working on cutting gems. It would be nice if the shape that was here was actually the one that I selected. Oh, Sage is hot headed. And these Sims tend to be angry, often to the detriment of those around them. Well, and yep, she's just feeling angry. All right, well, that's fine. What happened? Did you read? Gardening level one, what happened? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, but now she's reading. I, okay, so here's the, th the thing. Since this doesn't work inside, I'm probably gonna have to move it every time I play with this selling table. So I put the chair here because I figured it doesn't matter if the chair is kind of like blocking the way. But look how cute this is. She's just sitting in her shop reading while her friend's back here making little gems and stuff. There, it's, it's a whole vibe. Okay, already Sage has leveled up to level three. Sage is now more likely to find crystals and metals when digging at rocks and can design lunar goddess jewelry and cut seed shaped gem gemstones at the gemology table. So we've unlocked more shapes and everything. Now I will say, I think she's gaining skill really fast because I have some law traits on here. We have natural light, which helps with painting and photography, great soil, which helps with gardening, but then we also have home studio which I'm wondering if this has something to do with why she's gaining the skill so fast or if it's just a skill that is easy to get. Personality wise, Sage is a genius and she's creative. So maybe that's also why it's helping too. I don't know. It just seems like she's getting the skill really, really fast. Okay, I guess Noah decided she's done reading. Oh man, the weather had cleared up for like two seconds. All right, so I don't want her to get electrocuted or anything. So I'm gonna have her come back up here and do some more cross stitching. I like how she dances and works listening to the music. Cause it's like, it's really me in real life. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, so we've got this crystal. I'm going to add it to Sage's inventory. And then I don't know, I don't want to risk like the things breaking, but I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to see if I can charge it to the grid. So I added the crystal to the grid, but it is slow charging because it's a new moon and there's not a lot of moonlight. So I think that's enough for the day. I'm going to let them charge overnight. Hopefully they don't get destroyed. And uh, let's go up here and let's just chit chat with our roommate. Let's discuss uncomfortable mood. Okay, so she's gone to sleep. Why don't you come over here? And let's sit and chat here. Okay, Noah changed into her PJs, but that's fine. They can still chit chat and share ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna send them both to bed at this point since it's the end of the day. Okay, all right, wait a minute. The cat is messing with this. Is she scratching it up? Like, what is she doing? I can't, I can't tell what she's doing with this. Ah, uh, all right. Oh, she got a little yarn ball out of it. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna send Noah to bed now. Okay, so Sage had a nightmare, which I find odd because she quite literally is a spellcaster, but that's fine. Um, how do you how do you make them like not afraid anymore? It's just the weather. Okay, there's nothing really to do here. So I think I'm just gonna have her change into an everyday look. And I'm gonna ask what's wrong with Jade. Oh, she's just noy this. Let's pet her. And then maybe we can send her prowling too. Oh, let's also play with the laser pointer. Oh, there's no room for that. Okay. Okay. The cat's gone. In, oh, I was gonna say the cat's about to hide under the bed, but can I hug you at least? Oh, cuties. Okay. Well, I'm going to send Sage down here to maybe serve some breakfast. Let's serve a fruit salad because I don't want there to be any fires right now. Okay. So how do our little crystals do? I'm going to add them to her inventory. I just want to see if they charge that all. And if we can tell, it says if charged. So I don't think it charged. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. So Sage made some fruit salad for breakfast. I'm going to put the rest of this in the fridge for her. And then after she makes breakfast, she can jump right back in to um, making gemstones. Oh, we have a seed shaped gemstone. So the seed shaped gemstone is the one that if you grow it, it turns into a tree that you can harvest crystals from. So we'll have her work on that. And then hopefully the weather stays fine so that Noah can actually work on some gardening and whatnot out here. Gardening and specifically experimenting with the cauldron. Okay, the cat is uncomfortable. So I'm gonna have Noah get up and let's say, let's find out what's wrong with the kitty cat. Oh, that's so cute. The cat's sleeping on the little couch. That's so cute. What's wrong, Jade? Don't forget to fill a pet bowl for her. Ugh, I have a pet bowl downstairs. What's going on? The cat can't get to it. Let's find out. Okay. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Come down here. You're cutting gemstones, ma'am. Oh, you know what? You can go ahead and get... I stopped her from getting the, the fruitcake, but I realized now that Noah actually likes the fruitcake, so she can get leftovers of the stupid fruitcake. It also looks like Jade is able to eat now, so that's good. And then Noah is finishing her fruitcake. What is this little energized? Insightful conversation, sure. So we're gonna clean up, and then I'm gonna have her change into 
an everyday outfit before she goes outside. So it's 6 a.m. and I want her to just experiment. I don't know, to improve her like magnet skill. I don't know how this works, so we're gonna figure it out. Matter of fact, let me let me look at this. Become a spellcaster, travel to the magic realm, learn a spell. So that's what I have to do. And then for Sage, she needs to collect five crystals, gift jewelry, or successfully propose with crafted ring what okay shoot so at some point we are gonna have to leave aha okay look at noah out here okay look at noah out here experimenting in the magical garden this is like everything to me okay i'm gonna keep letting her do her thing hopefully she stays energized okay after sage finishes with this crystal we'll travel to the magic realm so we can get started with Noah's aspiration too. I like how messing with the cauldron outside satisfies Noah's like loving the outdoor trait. I am, I'm truly getting my whole life with this right now. They look so cute. Ooh, okay, so we've got the seed. Okay, there's no benefits to charging this. We just need to put it in our inventory and then we'll give it to Noah since she likes to garden. Okay, cool. She's like, hey girl, I made you this crystal seed thing. I know that you like gardening, even though that, is also something that works for Sage if she's gardening the seed crystals, but that's okay. I'm just gonna have them chit chat just for a hot second before we head to the magic realm. Okay, can you sit? Let's use this little thing. It says we can use this to travel to the magic realm. I wonder if we're allowed to bring people with this or if it just automatically brings just Noah. Okay, looks like it might just bring Noah. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring Sage here because Sage is also a spellcaster. The second thing I'm gonna do is Although I have never actually played as a spellcaster, I think that I'm going to replace this lot. So I know for a fact that Lil Simsy has a better version of this lot than I'm just gonna download really quickly. So first I have to turn on testing sheets, then I have to enable free build, and then I have to go into build mode and let's find her lot. Okay, great, so I have added, okay, so I've added the Lil Simsy version of the Magic Realm now. So I am just, first of all, I'm gonna save. And now I'm gonna turn to the aspiration to figure out what I need to do. So learn a spell. The spellcaster's journey would not be complete without access to an arsenal of varied potential potent spells. Search for tomes in the magic realm or ask powerful spellcasters to teach you their secrets. Good luck. Okay, cool. So, uh, okay. So I guess, is there anyone around or did they all, are y'all spellcasters? What is this? Here, let me talk to you. Let me do a friendly introduction. Meanwhile, you, you don't have to talk to anybody, really. You can come over here and start searching too, if you want. Here, search for tomes. Okay, so these people with the little symbols on their head, I guess they're important. So I wanna talk to you. Let me also brighten your day because I am charming. Okay, so magic, ask for right of dissolution. What the heck does that mean? And if I hover over, it doesn't tell me what it means. Oh, I forgot she needs to use the bathroom. Okay, I'm gonna ask him for the right of dissolution, whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Is that like, I don't wanna be a spellcaster anymore? Okay, I don't know. What we are gonna do now is find a bathroom. There's a bathroom in this place oh, over here. Okay, so let's come over here and use this bathroom. And don't you need to go to the bathroom too? You do. Is there a bathroom on this side a lot? Anything, anything? Oh, there's one over here. You come use the bathroom too. I had Sage searching for tomes, but I don't know if she found anything. Of course, she's gonna go far away to wash her hands, but I'm gonna have her wash her hands right here and then talk to some more people. So who, who are you? You are the Sage of Untamed Magic. Let me do a friendly introduction to you as well. Oh, and she's hungry. Um, okay, well, it looks like you can make mac and cheese in that cauldron, so maybe we can make some mac and cheese. Oh, there's also plants here tome of Desperio. what's this okay so well i guess we'll study it tome oh this tome of Desperio requires rank apprentice teaches the reader a spell that fills the sims mind with feelings of intense sadness that's crazy okay what's our rank how, how do i tell where our rank is oh here we go what is this Oh yeah, rank apprentice. All right, cool. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Meanwhile, you're talking to whoever this guy is. Oh, and you guys have a sentiment. Adoring. Okay, sure, sure girl. You're hungry though, aren't you? Can you come over here real quick and make some mac and cheese? Oh, okay, this person is legit. Cause they're, they're using their wand to like make this float. That's crazy. So Noah is <laughs> brewing up mac and cheese manually. Look at her sweating. I, that makes sense why she's sweating now because this chick's over here whipping up whatever with her wand. Look at that. She's like, my damn. <laughs> so you are supposed to be studying a sacred tome. 
Can you fit here to study? Also, what's this on the floor? Who, what did someone put on the floor here? Which, which, be which, which, which? Oh, it's poetry. Who's calling? Are you gonna tell me that my roommate's cool? I already know that. Okay, cool. So Sage is studying her first home, but she don't even need to be the one who's studying it. It needs to be her, but we need to eat first. That's just the truth. Oh my God, who's calling? Hey, no, I'm, I'm in town for a while. I, no. First of all, I know for a fact that you live in our same neighborhood. You may not stay with me. Absolutely not. Now, Sage, can you grab a serving as well? Oh, you, I can grab all servings. Oh, that's interesting. Can y'all chit chat? Oh no, it looks like she can't chat. Oh, you're the guy who I think I wanted to talk to. Okay, they're chit chatting. This is cute. I just want to make sure that they, they chat enough. Okay, so now, oh my gosh, these phone calls. These phone calls are getting on my nerves. Anyway, come over here and can you grab all servings? Because y'all can take this home. Oh, she's tired. Okay, I love how everybody is just doing magic all willy nilly around here. I right, get out of this conversation. She's like, ha ha yeah, I'm gonna go collect the food that Noah made, thanks. Meanwhile, can you, what is this? Resume large group rainbow? No, do not start cross stitching. Yeah, she's getting distracted. Ask to teach a potion recipe. I definitely want that. And then I want to ask to teach practical magic. Okay, did she collect the food? Can you grab a serving? Okay, here she comes showing off again. I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's go to, let's get to know each other first. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, new plan, new plan. Let's actually become, I guess, friends with this person. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, what are the lot traits? We ain't got none. So I'm gonna add some lot traits to make this easier. We're gonna add convivial which makes it easier to practice charisma, comedy, and mischief. What else can we add? Can this be a cat hangout? <laughs> okay, sorry, I just think that's hilarious. Uh, and then we'll do great soil here as well because that'll help with gardening. Use a lot of traits to your advantage, people. Okay, so we learned that he's a geek. Uh, let's discuss interests. Let's do some deep thoughts. Talk about dreams. We just, now we have to become friendly. Okay, so Sage is also feeling inspired. Maybe since we're here, she can do some experimentation too. So I'm gonna let Sage experiment while Noah gets to know somebody to try to like get some spells. Ooh, look at the potions in here. Yeah, this is what I want in our shop. Okay, so Sage is gonna experiment. She's a little tired. There are beds on this lot now, so we can, we can go and take a little nappy nap. Where's the beds? Okay. There's some beds in here. So maybe she can go nap. I know it's like three in the afternoon, but you're gonna take a little siesta cause she's feeling a little tired. Now what's happening here? Girl, why are you cross stitching? You're supposed to be talking. Oh my gosh. It's like, if you don't watch these, these Sims, they will do whatever. He's kind of like sitting there a little bit bored. Let's do a deep conversation too. Oh, here you go. Hi. Okay, well, I guess she's leaving. Okay, I see something crazy in the window back here. What is going on? Oh, it's just the smoke of the land. Okay, that's cool. This place is really neat. Okay, back to this. Dang it, she's too busy cross stitching. She lost track of the guy. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're, we're searching for tomes. We are searching for tomes. Is that a way we can find a spell? Yeah, we gotta search for tomes. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Stop cross stitching. She lost the plot completely. Girl, you're pissing me off. Why did she put this down? Is this complete? All right, so now Noah's looking for tomes since she couldn't figure out how to talk to that other guy. She found the tome of Deliriate. Okay, can we study the tome then? Study magical tome. It says, teaches, teaches the reader a spell that will allow them to scramble Sim's thoughts. That is also, we, both, we got two kind of messed up spells today and I don't really want messed up spells. I kind of want nice spells. I don't really think of them as like, you know, mean witches. I mean, Sage, I can see kind of being a little bit more mischievous, but Noah for sure is like our friendly neighborhood witch. You know what I mean? But in order to move on in this little spell caster thing, I'm going to have her learn a spell. Oh, uh, we have to wait to find some more spells. Okay. Well, we were making for, oh, here we go. I was like, we were making friends with one of the guys. Maybe I can describe a new idea to him after I figure out what's going on with the tome. The girl's taking her sweet time. Okay, so first milestone is complete. She's learned Deliriate. Oh, here's a little spell book. How do I get to this? Oh, she's an incender mischief magic. Reach into a Sim's head and scramble their thoughts. Ooh. Okay, how do I get to that? Is it under like the notebooks? Dang, where is the little book? Oh, okay. To find the little book, you have to click on the magic open spell book. Oh, we can just click on ourselves and practice magic. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Well, I got what I need to hear. What's the next level? Reach spellcaster ring two. Know three different spells and cast a spell on another sim. Mmm. Well, let's 
continue talking to this guy. I would like to learn a potion. How do I learn a potion? Oh, okay. I'll ask him to teach a potion recipe once we talk. How close are we? We're acquaintances. Hell, unbelievable story. Oh, dang it. If I had a crystal that allowed me to be more like charismatic, that would be perfect right now. Let's see here. Let's come back in here and let's harvest this stuff. I'm going to harvest all. I don't know what's in here. We have a valerian plant. Can this be, I can't evolve anything because I'm not advanced enough. But we're going to harvest this stuff in here just because I'm like, I don't know. We might need it and we can plant it when we get home. Oh, Sage acquired the logic still. I didn't even know she was up. Okay. It looks like we got everything. Can we get anything here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, uh, oh wait, I think we've met everyone but you. Let's do a friendly introduction. Oh yes, there's cats. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just think it's so funny because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's like a little witch's den. We gotta have cats and little animals running around. I should probably also add dog hangout here too. But for now, it's just gonna be cats. <laughs> All right, cool. You don't need to talk to them anymore. Let me check the relationships panel. We know Simeon, we know Elle, and we know Morgan. All right, cool. I think those are the only, like, I think they're called sages, like the main teachers. Oh, and now Sage has gone to bed. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Can you change into reg regular clothes, please? Look at that. Someone's coming in here. Change outfit. Just change into something regular. All right, let's go home. Okay, so we are back home, and I feel like where's where's Sage? Oh, Sage is upstairs on the computer. I feel like they need to exchange their little to tones with each other. So maybe I can we can do like a gift situation. So I'm gonna gift her the Tomb of Delirii, and then she can gift me the other tome. Okay, the pet has an obsession with something. But I'm I'm not even gonna be concerned about that right now. So she's like, here you go. And then I'm gonna gift Noah the tomb of Desperio. Cause those are the ones that the other one doesn't know. Okay, great. So I'm gonna have her study this tome. And then I want, first of all, I need to put this mac and cheese in the fridge. What quality is this? Normal. Okay. Anyway, um, okay, so we've got some more crystal things to do. So for Sage's thing, we need to collect five crystals and then we need to gift jewelry. So let's come down here and let's design some jewelry. We're going to design something that can be charged um these are what we've unlocked now at this level let's make these little earrings and okay so let's look at the metal oh the metals i don't think the metals have any special qualities that's good to know so we are going to use a tranium and then for our crystal let's find something that will help us so there's Sims gain creative skills faster. Sims build relationships with family faster. Oh, angry moodlets will fade much, fa much faster. Okay, so since she is hot headed, let's do that one. I know that Noah is tired, but I'm gonna have her study this tomb before she goes to bed. Oh, and she also needs to take care of her needs. So maybe after she studies the tomb, I'm gonna have her use the bathroom and then take a shower and then go to bed. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Designing the jewelry is just a little bit different. I love this new gemology table. It's so cute. I love that there's new hobbies in the sims like my sims need things to do and i love how all the crystals have different effects that actually impact gameplay so i think when she's done with this crystal and the other crystals i'm going to put them on the charge because it's already like one in the morning maybe i should go ahead and charge the ones that she has now i'm just gonna do it oh she leveled up again dang she's already at level four sage can now design eye jewelry and cut pear-shaped gemstones at the gemology table oh i didn't realize i didn't have like gemology set so yes she definitely likes gemology okay so the earrings are done cool so we are going to charge these i'm just gonna take them and drag them to this grid that's out here right now and then i'm gonna let her take care of her needs she needs to use the bathroom she also needs to eat does she not eat the mac and cheese i thought she did maybe she could just have a quick meal like some yogurt or something yeah we'll just have some yogurt because it's late i also love the effects at night it's so cute out here we've got fireflies and then the dragonflies i guess are just kind of like always around which i find interesting okay so sage is eating her quick meal and then then she needs to take a shower as well. So we'll do that. And then we'll go to sleep. I don't know what's going on with Jade. Is she still up here? Is she about to go downstairs? Oh, okay. She's going downstairs. I was gonna play with her, but that's fine. Jade is running away because I don't think she had enough attention. That is unfortunate. I was literally like, oh, I'm gonna pay attention to her as soon as Noah wakes up. And now she's gone. So that's great. Oh, she's sad because yeah, we are we're missing our furry friend and she's also hungry so i'm gonna have her change 
into something from the everyday. And then what is she about to do? She's about to go view something. No, why don't you come over here and have some leftovers? Oh my gosh. Oh, the food is smelly. Maybe that's why she ran away. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, okay. We've got to fill the empty bowls. Okay, you have got to stop. What happened? Did you get food? No, she didn't get food. Okay, I'm gonna empty the bowls. I'm gonna mop up the cat, throw up, clean this up, and then yeah, get leftovers. Oh, she's having mac and cheese for breakfast. That's great. Okay, she keeps wanting to judge decor. So I'm gonna reset her. And then where did the food go? Come over here and eat. Sims sometimes. Oh, okay, and you're up too. They're both sad about the cat that's missing. That's unfortunate, but they're gonna chit chat. New personality traits. Sage is feeling a bit high maintenance these days. High maintenance is so... Oh, I'll say yes, but I'm not happy about it. All right, now that that's done, let us, oh my God, I love this. Okay, so we're gonna come out here and I'm going to plant the seed. That's the main thing. Oh my gosh, everybody is calling the phone calls. Please, Sims team, cut the phone calls in half. So I'm gonna put this here. I know we can plant that. And then I also think we need like, an apple tree maybe for one of the potions. And I don't know what else we need for the other potions. So I'm just gonna like wait, but come out here and plant please. And then I think that, can you clean this up for me? Uh, What else do we have? We have to collect five metals and then, oh yeah, gift jewelry. Oh, dang it. I forgot that I was supposed to be making jewelry, not just for herself, but for Noah too. Okay, and Noah is going to dance to some music. Did you plant the plants at least? Okay. It looks like she did. Did you water the plants? Yeah, water that. Thank you. All right, so now it looks like Sage is hot. So we will set the thermostat cooler and then we will come over here and we will work. Oh, she's too uncomfortable. Oof. okay. Well, I'm going to collect items. Okay, we're gonna collect the items. Did anything charge? That's my question. I don't think so. I think if it's charged, it'll say charged. So right now it doesn't help us to wear those earrings because it's not going to <laughs> change how she feels. So let's come over here. Let's try to calm down. And then, oh my God, Noah, what, what are you doing? He's dancing again, Lord. Okay, uh, Noah, can you like experiment or something? Go experiment, get out, get out of here. Or since you're actually in a good mood, don't experiment, don't experiment, don't experiment. Yeah, come over here and read that tome. Sage just needs to make some jewelry and then, oh, even though she's angry, it'll still let me do this. Okay, so we're going to, oh wait, let's make this little one, delicate bracelet. We're going to do it with high right, I guess. And then something to help Noah. It says Sims gain charisma skill faster with the turquoise, with the turquoise crystal. So let's use that one. Okay, so, oh, Noah upgraded to the next level of the spellcaster. So that's good. She is now a neophyte and she has talent points to spend. So it looks like these are the different ranks that we can have. So she now receives more items when harvesting magical ingredients in the realm. She can, when experimenting and practicing Sims gain experience faster with less failures. So I might do that one. Let's use this one because right now I just have her like experimenting a lot and I think that that would be helpful. So come over here and let's experiment. Meanwhile, Sage, you are, she's in a much better mood that she's doing what she likes and that she has her music playing. So she's, she's, she's feeling good. So I'm gonna have her do this so that she can gift this to Noah and then we're gonna go out and try to collect some crystals. Okay, so we've got a delicate bracelet. Now let's come over here to Noah. I'm just gonna have her, I'm gonna have Sage come out here first. Okay, so we're gonna stop experimenting and then even though Sage is super pissed, um, is there a way to like, to calm her down just as a friend? Try to calm down. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if that helps at all. He's like, hey, are you all right? And Sage is like, no, I'm just so angry at the world all the time. And I was like, okay, just breathe. And what is this? Shall forbidden words, let's not do that. Can you give your friend a gift? Oh, she's also high maintenance. This is about to be a mess. Uh, Here, gift, gift. And we're gonna gift these the delicate bracelet. Okay, she's stomping. This is so cute. So here you go, I made this for you. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. I'm gonna have Noah wear it. Can I, I can click it from here, right? Wear, wear with all outfits maybe? Wait, why did their friendship go down? I don't know, but she's wearing the bracelet. It's super cute. I love that. Oh my gosh, and it's sparkly and pretty. I'm gonna have her, she's gonna go try to calm down in the mirror, which I think is a good idea. Noah is feeling very playful, but Maybe she can like study gardening or something. Oh wait, I'm gonna have her remove the jewelry because I do want to charge it. I just, you know, am curious. Okay, we're gonna have her go back to studying gardening. Is there any like calming tea? I wonder. 
How about this? I'm going to see if we can get some calming tea. And you're like, oh, what is calming tea? I don't know. I think I'm just trying to figure out if, if the little tea kettle makes something like that. Okay, so let's boil. So for the tea, calming chamomile. See, I knew I wasn't making that up. Let's see how that helps us. Oh, stop dancing. <laughs> Go get some tea. Let's see if drinking the tea helps us at all. Oh, it's definitely helping from feeling angry from hot-headed trait. It's not helping from worst day ever, but this is something, or at least I thought it was something. I don't know. We definitely have to charge the little jewelry that she made today because this is too much okay it's already 6 30 so we need to go and collect some crystals so let's go and go to what is it oasis springs okay so she's feeling angry yet again i'm gonna have her go and try to calm down while i wait for the crystals to populate i also realized that it did not the gifting option didn't work because i didn't gift correctly i have to yeah wait i don't understand it says use the interaction gift to on a crafted piece of jewelry and select someone to gift it to alternatively select the interaction proposed to okay i don't know something just went wrong here i'm gonna try that again i guess when we get back to the house but let me start looking around here so what do we got okay i see this so we're gonna dig over here trying to calm down oh did help fantastic oh she found amethyst that's fun okay cool so now we found one of five of the things we need to find so what about over here oh look there's little sim like little things on it. I think this will be a little metal. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, and then we have another little crystal over here too. So we're gonna dig. Okay, so she found Sadnum as a metal and I guess robot salvage parts. But I don't care about that. Oh, she found Moonstone. Okay, that's fun. And then anything else around here? I've never actually wanted or had to look for like the digging sites. Oh, this looks like it's bones. Okay, no, I don't want that. Anything else around here? Oh, I see another little site up here. Oh, look, some more metal. So we're gonna have her dig that up. Okay, she found socialite. Okay, that's interesting. And then anything else? We found like four out of the five things. Oh, look, there's something else down here too. Already, yeah, come over here and dig this up. And then we'll, we'll have completed that part of the aspiration. Okay, somebody's coming over to talk to me as I'm clearly busy. The Sims don't know how to take a hint for real. Okay, we found Emerald. Okay, cool. So we found all everything that we need to find. Uh, let's go back home. We are back home. Now, why is she sad? Oh, right, because the cat's missing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I need to try again with this gifting situation. So if I click on this, oh, gift to. Okay, now I can gift to Noah that way. Oh, that is not the way I thought that was gonna work. But in order to check it off on the aspiration, I have to do it that way. You have to actually click on the jewelry and then gift it to the person. <laughs> Them using the windy path to me is gonna be, it's gonna be the highlight. W one day I'm gonna get annoyed, but right now this is super cute. <laughs> okay, now milestone complete. Oh, and she's wearing it. She turns it on and she wears it. That's so cute. Okay, cool. So we already have some of the things that we need for level two. We just need to wear a fully charged piece, which I can't ever do because I always forget to put the stuff out. Okay, so let's, oh, and we have all these crystals now. <gasps> okay, so we're gonna charge the earrings. Actually, can I just charge gemstones and jewelry? Here, charge that. And then I'm gonna have you charge your stuff too. So this is interesting because we have several crystals and metals, but I can't put them on the charge stones because they haven't been refined. Oh, okay. So then I can come over here and I can cut the gemstones again. We have a pear shaped gemstone that we can cut and I can use the things that I already have. So moonstone, board moodlets disappear much faster and spellcaster sim is more successful when casting spells and brewing potions okay so i feel like actually moonstone would be great as a piece of jewelry again for um noah i i don't know i feel like i wonder if noah's picking up on all the hints of sage making her jewelry but in the meantime we also have emerald and we also have amethyst so let's get this amethyst and we can refine it and then we can charge it. This is fun. Okay, so she put her stuff out too. So now it looks like things are charging and I just, I don't know. There's no way of telling how long it has to be charged. I, I don't know. Okay, Noah's hungry. So we might as well come over here and let's get some more leftovers. Oh, the crystal tree is starting to, starting to sprout. Oh, look at Sage. She's very happy considering she's high maintenance and she's hot headed. You know, it's touch and go with them. Now that Noah's done eating though, I'm just gonna send her to bed. She doesn't need to be up right now. Go sleep. I'm gonna watch Sage finish this gem. 
Oh, I don't know if she'll actually finish tonight. We'll see. Dang, she's already reached gemology level five. We're on episode one. Dig will now craft jewelry and gemstones faster and can design bling jewelry and cut brilliant cut gemstones at the gemology table. Okay, shoot. Even though she's gaining the skill pretty fast, I feel like there's still an incentive to continue to craft jewelry because each of the different crystals have different effects. So if I want to have different effects on my Sims, I'll come back to this even when she maxes out her skill. Ooh. Ooh, look at them sparkling. Is something ready? It doesn't look like it. Just something's really, really sparkling. I can't, again, I can't tell if it's ready or not by here. Oh, wait, are you done? Ooh, look how pretty that is. Wow. Okay, charge on a crystal grid. I'm just gonna click on the crystal and click charge on crystal grid and I'm curious which one she goes to. Okay, cool. So she's gonna do that. I guess that's it for today. Well, that's it for crystal magic part one. I hope you're enjoying this let's play so far. I'm super excited. There's all kinds of things that I'm planning to do in this let's play that we didn't even touch in the first episode. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and turning on the post notifications so you know when my next video is up. I go live every week on this channel, so you're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed for that. But the fun doesn't stop here. Check out my other videos on this channel, and I will see y'all next time. Dag, dag!